Welcome to Winter Hermit Gaming's tutorial on the game Scum. This is a newer game and can be quite difficult starting out. So we thought we'd put together a little tutorial here of uh, some of the basics. Um, so first you got to create your character. You can select your age and as you see your age kind of modifies some of your your stats as well. So we're going to go about 45 because it's going to give us some bonuses to strength, constitution, and intelligence. Um, dexterity is probably one of the um, least important skills now, or as of right now. Um, then you can adjust your body type, fat, thin, muscular, anywhere in between. And as you can see, that's adjusting our points over here. Or you can just kind of come in here and modify it yourself. We're going to put two there. We want some pretty good intelligence. We definitely want good constitution. Um, we'll try about there. Then you can select your head. Got a couple choices. If you have tattoos and then what you have for tattoos and then obviously there's some things that are still grayed out. It's an alpha game, so they're coming. So let me go next. And as you can see, it has doubled each one of our stats, and that's how many points we have to put in here. Um, boxing is just flat out hand-to-hand -hand combat, um, punching people, um, or you got rifles. Um, rifles, obviously your ability to use rifles, melee weapons, and handgun. I want advanced skill in melee because that's going to be my my primary um, way to attack. And we're going to put some skill into rifles because we hope later on in the game we're going to have some rifles. Constitution. This is a very large map. You are going to do a lot of running and this is very important. So you want to be able to do a lot of running. So we want our endurance and advanced and our running as high as we can get with the remaining points. Our dexterity, um, you know, in stealth. That's all, that's the only choice we have. Eventually you can see there's there's lots of abilities you can get, but they're grayed out now. Intelligence, I want advanced survival because this is going to dictate how many things I can craft right off the bat. Um, then I'm gonna want a pretty decent camouflage and then decent awareness um, you know depending on how you like to play sniping might be important and we got to change our name because it's already in use because I have another game going with that there winter hermit how to good enough for now and then it's going to give us our our criminal record. We uh, we're in for arson. And it gives our stats and stuff. So this game is a reality show essentially. You're a prisoner, and they put you on this island, and there's drones flying around, videoing you, and the whole world is watching you trying to survive. And there's these puppets, or I refer to them as zombies. So the first thing we want to do is find some rocks. The other important thing to know are the controls. Any other game you would hold shift to run, and this one you wheel up on the mouse wheel, and that's how you run. And if we click F, search for rocks, okay, there's two of them. So this will show us anything in our vicinity, and the important thing to know is crafting can use anything in your inventory or in the vicinity. So the first thing we need is a stone knife. And the thing I don't like about this game is when you craft it, it doesn't go in your inventory. It goes on the ground. So you better make sure you pick it up or you're going to be crafting stuff and then finding it later. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can cut down some bushes because we need the sticks. We're 
going to want to make one of these. They've kind of changed the recipes a little bit over time. So this improvised courier backpack will be one we want to make. But the first thing we want is an improvised wooden spear. And there's two long sticks here from cutting down that bush. So let's go ahead and make two spears. Craft another one. And again, they go on the ground. So these two holster slots are on your back or your hands. All right, and I like to actually carry three of them because you can swing these at the puppets or you can throw them. And if you headshot them, it will be a, a one-shot kill. If you hit them anywhere else, it's going to vary depending on their body type. You know, obviously the bigger ones are going to have more hit points. But you hit them once with a spear, and then as they run at you, you can swing at them and, and finish them off. Okay, so we want to make some of these. Oh, I'll probably have to ditch some of those. Let's go over here. Cut down some trees. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can make the materials you need out of your clothing, or you can make them out of trees. I prefer to keep my clothing for the clean rags because you cannot bandage yourself with dirty rags. You've got to have clean ones. Okay, so. There's something else nearby to cut, so let's cut this and hopefully we can get five of them nearby. So a lot of videos will show you to instantly cut up your clothes and make the backpack. I prefer, let's go over here. Okay, so we selected the three, right click, and then we can craft a bundle of wood sticks. And you notice we dropped the spear we had in our hands because we're working with our hands. That's no problem. We'll just take this with us. Now we're going to uncraft it there, which will put our sticks right on the ground. And I don't let me do anything because I'm so for this um, with crafting the green means you have to have it but these arrows mean you can use other things so if we use tree bark rope we need one of those and we need a rag so let's craft our tree bark rope. And again, remember it's on the ground. We apparently set our knife down somewhere or it broke one of the two. Let's go over here. We must have already broke it. They're not real durable, so no big deal. We can make another one. Search for rocks. There's two rocks. Now we're going to go find a puppet. Again, to get that rag, we could cut up our clothes, but I want those clean clothes. For bandages so let's hold on to those if we can because it is not hard to kill these puppets do not fear them oh really only small ones 
Yes, I cut down too small of a tree. Another important thing to know is if you ever need small sticks, you can cut the long sticks into small sticks. And you can carry the bundles of sticks on your back. Okay, so let's just go ahead and make another one of these. Now we've got our rope, we got a knife, and we've got some spears. So where are we on the map? Um, we're right up at the top of C4 up there. So let's go ahead and head towards the road. All right, while we're resting and letting our stamina rebuild, this would be a great time to talk about the metabolism mechanics of the game. Um, so you're always gonna wanna look here for sicknesses. This is gonna tell you if you're starving or maybe you have a vitamin D deficiency or if it says physical, like stage zero, stage one, um, you're like bleeding, you're physically injured. That's when you're gonna wanna bandage yourself. Now here, you're going to see stomach volume, intestine volume, colon volume, and bladder volume. When you eat stuff, you're going to see it appear down here and we'll find something to eat. And then it's going to work its way little by little to your intestines. And you're not going to immediately see the effects of things when you eat. The energy down in the bottom lower left, the ENG, um, as well as the hydration below it, those are things you're not immediately going to see effects from eating until it makes its way through your stomach, through your um, intestine, and then you'll start to see that creep up. So we're gonna be finding some puppets here because right over this bridge is a small town. And there's gonna be two benefits of taking down a puppet, three benefits of taking down a puppet. One, we can take their clothes. Two, we want to cut up something of their clothes for rags. And three, food. Yes, we're going to eat them. All right, and you can see them wandering up there. We hold our left mouse. We're going to aim. All right, he's pissed. It's in his leg. I just walk backwards, do a little dodge. Sidestep him a little bit and swing. Oh, he got me. And he's down. So now if you bring up this, left click, boom, it's back in our thing. So we're going to search him. And the gear he's wearing is the gear we're going to get. Ooh, so very nice. We got a work jacket and work pants. Some hiking boots are nicer than ours. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take these gloves. Now we're gonna cut up our pants. We should get clean rags from that. By the way, I right clicked and then cut into rags. Yep, so we got three clean rags. We've got to re-grab our rope and some rag strips. Now we can further cut the rag strips up. Now see how this says patch wounds? If I go to metabolism, physical injury, phase one sick. That means I'm hurt. So let's patch our wounds. And we can only do this with clean rags. All right, we're patched up now. We go to crafting. We have rag, rope, 
in the knife, I thought. Got our knife. Maybe we need to put that there. I'm not quite sure why it's not letting me do that. I know there's a few few bugs it will not let you do it with so I am going to gather some more rags and we're going to show you the other way of doing it when this doesn't work I stand corrected I see why it's not working we need three rags and I only have two because I used one to patch myself So, easy enough, we're going to get some more. Headshot, and just like that, he's down. Okay, so... Tactical jacket. Which one's better? They're both the same. So let's go ahead and... Oh, shoot. Another nice, useful thing. They cannot get you when you're prone. Take a swing at him, step back, and spear him in the head. Now we got this guy coming at us. And we spear him in the head. So do not fear these guys. They are pretty darn easy to take out. Ooh, tactical military pants. We definitely want these here. We can cut into rags. I think we're going to have to go... I think we left some stuff in our other pants over there. Okay. So we got rags. Yeah, we left our clean rags on our other pants. That's what we left. Uh, what do we got? Driving gloves. Let's put tactical gloves on. Okay, so now we have everything we need to make improvised courier backpack. Flint and steel, that's a very nice find. We're going to take that because... Um, if you have that, you can start a fire. You can make. Look at that. <clears throat> now we got nine spots to store stuff. And we are on our way. Let's go over here. We want to get back. I think it was in these work pants. Yes. We're just going to move these clean rags here. And we're going to take the tactical pants back because they're a little better. Um, these work pants we really don't need. So we can throw them. Do I have a spear here? I do. And we'll get our spear from him. Alright, now we're going to show you how to build a couple other basic essentials like a small shelter base as well as a fire. So the first thing you're going to need is an axe. Um, not an improvised 
patch it. Okay, so we need to make the small stone axe head, which is very simple. We need two rocks again. Looks like there's two rocks, so let's craft that. Let's keep that. Remember to pick that back up. Okay, now we're gonna need more rags to make rope. But we've got plenty of rags to choose from here. Let's just go ahead and cut up this. Ooh, combat boots are very good because, oh, I can't do it now. Combat boots actually give you two storage slots. Okay, let's put our knife in our shirt pocket. And this back here. And not tree bark rope. We want this, so we need five rag strips. Which just means we need to take and cut these into more rag strips. We've got three. This should give us two more. Perfect. So now we can craft an improvised rope. Now we just need a long wooden stick, but we better take this with us. Let's take this. Okay, so now we got a long stick in the mix here. So we got everything we need to make a stone axe. Now we're probably actually going to abandon that spear and just keep the axe as uh, our handheld weapon, or it can get stored there. So on to the next thing. We're gonna wanna be able to make a fire ring. We're gonna need eight stone and four wooden logs. Um, I don't know why I'm carrying those around. I don't know why I'm carrying that around. Drop the shoes, drop the gloves. Okay, so we're gonna go around and we're gonna gather rocks. Should have enough, so let's go ahead. And you can do this um, anywhere. I recommend finding a nice hiding spot and cover out in the woods, um, wherever. I think I'm actually going to do it in here. Um, the added advantage of being in a place like this is then you can be by your fire out of the rain when it's raining because your clothing will absorb rain and water. This green number right here that also is zero kilograms, that's water weight. Um, so when it's raining or you go 
in something and get wet, you're taking that on. Okay, so now we need four wooden logs. And now that we have a stone axe, we can cut down trees rather than just those little bushes. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut down a tree. And now we've got some wooden logs. And if we, why am I saving some of this stuff? Now we can throw these in here, take a couple of them back here. We're just going to go ahead and set them out. Set these out here. All right, and then we need... Do I have enough rags? I didn't even look. I might have enough. Oh, yes, I've got enough rags for this. So, fire ring, we've got our eight stones, we've got our four logs, and we've got our one rag. So we're just going to go ahead and craft. The one thing I don't like is you cannot pick where it goes. Wherever it appears is where it is. Sometimes that means it's on top of something. Um, or oblong is all out like that but there's nothing you can do about it so if we want to light it we go to inventory we select campfire or flint and steel or otherwise you can craft this fire drill which simply takes a couple wooden sticks and a stone knife and you can make a fire drill and start it the same way but we happen to find a flint and steel so then you right click and light fire now, before we build our base, we haven't eaten anything yet. Let's chop up Mr. Puppet here that we killed. And now we got all kinds of parts. So now let's chop up this piece. And one of the things we get after we chop them again is puppet meat. We got some nice little puppet steaks here. So I'm going to grab six of those. And hopefully I've got an extra long stick laying up in this pile. I do. So we need a long stick and one, two, or three pieces of puppet meat, and we can make a small puppet kebab. All right, so let's put our hatchet in there so we don't lose that. And we're gonna go ahead and take this in our hand. Go down here, and then we're gonna right click on the fire ring and cook. Now we've got, we're going to go ahead and eat all. Let's look at here. You can see our stomach volumes filling up with the small skewer with meat. Nom, nom, nom. And now what you're going to see happen is some of the stomach volume slowly going to tick over to the intestine volume as you digest it and eventually to the colon and then guess what it's got to come out liquids obviously won't go to the colon they'll go to the bladder and you pee them out so we've got a fire we've cooked some meat um, we've made some basic weapons. We've made a backpack to expand our um, carrying ability significantly. Um, so really the, the main thing left is a shelter. And for a shelter, we need six small sticks, 
10 long sticks. So let's go cut down some trees. Okay, so we cut down a tree. So we're going to select all the long sticks. And you can kind of see they've got the little darker piece to them. So we got one, two, three, four. Yeah, so craft into a bundle of sticks. And now we've got a bundle of wooden sticks, which you can throw on your back, on your hand, whatever. So let's take them. Actually, let's uncraft them. So then we get one, two, three, four, five. And we're going for 10 long ones and then six small ones. So we're going to repeat and we'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, we've got a couple bundles. We've actually got one bundle on our back of big sticks. And then we've got a bundle of small sticks that we had in our hand. And I think we might have, oh no, we just set the one down because it was in our hand and we had to use our hands. Okay, I think we're still short. Let's look. Um, we are, I think we're one small stick short which we may have right out here. Yup. Oh, we can't stick a single stick on our back. It's gotta be a bundle. But here is one stick. Let's go in. Oh, we need rope. Of course we do. Um, we're going to use the improvised rope. Hopefully it works. Um, yep, there's a camo jacket there. So let's go ahead and cut that into rags. And then once we have that cut into rags, cut it a little further into some more rag strips. And then make some improvised rope. Grabs our improvised rope. Um, and let's just make sure here for our shelter. Oh, we are going to need two. So let's just go ahead and hack up some more rags. There's a foot. Hack up some more of these rags. And I think that's should be four, do it again, and then we should have enough to craft another improvised rope. Take our rope and head back to our little garage we're hiding out in. Again, on a populated server, this may not be the best spot. You may want to go out in the woods, find yourself a little, little spot. And we have all our materials. And again, we can't pick where it's going to go. So who knows where our uh, shelter is going to end up. Um, I do hope that's something they fix. 
Oh, that's actually not bad at all. Not bad at all. So now you know it's raining, it's storming, whatever. We can shut ourselves in here. We got a fire. Got some stuff we can even search. There's some thread, some rag strips. Ooh, a crowbar. That might be nice for beating some zombie heads. So there you have it. There's our little tutorial. Now you know how to get started, how you can make yourself a backpack right off the bat. Um, and honestly, you can make that by taking your inmate shirt and your inmate pants and cutting them up into the rags and the rag strips you need. And you can do it that way. Um, however, again, I like to keep some of those clean rags to use as bandages. So you're better off making yourself some spears, going and killing some puppets and cutting up their dirty clothes, making yourself your, your backpack. Um, we taught you how to make some spears, some pretty good basic weapons. Between throwing and hitting with them, you can easily take out puppets. Um, we showed you how to make a stone knife, a stone axe, and then you can use those tools to uh, make yourself a fire, to make yourself your shelter, which can become a spawn point. Um, as you die, unfortunately, you can use your fame points up in the top right there to um, spawn back at your shelter. So you can you know pick out where you kind of want your your permanent spot to be set that up the other thing you can make we didn't go over but a wooden box pretty simple um, rope and wooden planks you get the wooden planks out of the logs you just further cut them into wood planks and then you can make a wood box and store stuff in it as well so there you have it um, happy playing in the world of scum just remember when you are on a server there are going to be other players and they may kill you they are not quite as easy as the puppets so always keep yourself aware um, another good reason why you want to kind of hide your stuff you know maybe in the woods up against a rock behind bushes stuff like that um, but again happy playing scum i hope this helped you get started a little better winter hermit gaming Oh, wait, wait. We've got to end this. We've got to end this better. So our colon and our bladders only like three. If you hold tab, click toilet. Um, folks, that's right. You can squat and take a poo. And you can pee too. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, shake it out. Yup. Okay, so then he wipes it with his hand and watch this. This this is my favorite part. He gets up and pulls up his pants and checks. Oh, yep, yep. Kind of smells funny. Winter Hermit Gaming. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.